Hey guys, I'm James. I'm here at uh, Matthews, North Carolina. Yeah. You're welcome. Anyway, I'm here at uh, Golden Corral, and I'm here with Gunner, who um, <laughs> who has gone to Phillips Academy with me, and um, I have some questions that were written by my mom. So, so Gunner, I'm going to ask you the questions. The ten questions that are on here, they're they're mostly about Phillips Academy. All right. Okay. Shoot. Okay. First question is, what year did you start at Phillips Academy? What year? Well, unfortunately, my memory is pretty bad. But if I had to say, I'd want to say it was about around somewhere roughly in the second year. I'd say somewhere near 2012 or so, maybe even farther back. Like I said, my memory is terrible. Sorry about that. For me, I started 2013. Yeah. It was something new to me when I started, and because I wanted to, and because I didn't know I was going to a public school or a private school, it was something new to me because usually I would go to a public school. But it was actually not better going to a private school anyway. I was glad I went there. Because yeah. before I went there, back in my old school, they were running out of money. Most of uh, the friends I made there had pretty much left. And I wasn't really exactly learning anything. They were just you know, making me memorize a bunch of junk. They weren't checking to see if I was actually, you know, actually learning something from it. Wow. Yeah, so yeah, my memory loss thing may have had something to do with the fact that I just, you know, got maxed out that time. Wow. Discovers. Okay, who was your favorite teacher at Phillips Academy? Hmm. I'd say it would be probably... Hmm. I'm not quite sure it would be. It would either be Miss Hall or Miss Firth. I like Miss Firth because she was strong and sort of had this, uh, sort of this, uh, commanding, like, uh, like energy. Like how some people are described to have this uh, calm and peaceful vibe. Well, she gave him that of a sort of a commanding officer, which although I'm not quite sure, but something I can admire. Wow. Well, Miss Hull was kind of felt a little more relaxed and harder to get angry. So, yeah. Yeah. For me, um, my baby teacher is Miss Frederick. Like, she was the one who... Um, when I first started, she was just like a volunteer, but then my second year, she actually started to be a teacher. And of course, she would always help me out with uh, great things. She was great. Um, what was the funniest thing you remember Jackson doing? Hmm. I have one. For me, it was when it was in Ms. Hall's class, we were writing, um, and there was on the board where he was writing down, like it was a guessing game. And we, uh, he wrote something down, and we were asking, uh, it was a, a girl, and we were thinking, what's the girl gonna do? And then he said, it's a two-two. <laughs> okay, well, I remember, and I can definitely see the punchline, but I'm not quite sure if I have a funniest thing he did. Most of the time I spent watching a comedy show, so if I did remember something, it probably wouldn't be something he had done. Yeah, yeah. And it's usually he's the quiet person. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, did he ever crawl up into the air ducts while he was trying to escape out of the building? I'm not sure. Probably. Nope, that definitely doesn't sound like something that would happen to us. Yeah. I mean, as far as it would be, it still wouldn't happen to us. Right. But if it did, that is definitely something I would expect from a situation like that. Aside from me throwing a chair at the window and yelling help when I break the glass. Oh. Me, that would be pretty funny. Yes, I mean, that would it be. It would be pretty intense because, you know, you're in danger in real life, but still... Y'all have something when it's funny. Yeah. Where did you like taking a break during lunchtime? Because I know most people, they would like to, uh, I know they say, if you want to take a break, go ahead and take a break. I kind of like to do in that area where we had those sofas at. You know, right from uh, that yeah. little fireplace? Yeah, that was pretty cool. How many years did you go to Phillips Academy? 
I believe around five, because I remember being held back a year for some bizarre reason. For me, it would have to be five years just like Gunner. Of course, I know I was originally going to do four years, but I wanted some more time, so it actually switched to one more year, so of course five. Did you enjoy cooking classes with Miss Hall? Oh yeah, I enjoy them very much. Yeah. Yes, for me, I liked to make all of the cooking assignments that she made us do. The part was, there was the cooking homework assignment she gave us, and there was the part um, where we had to do them on the day before we I actually did it. So, of course, you actually, um, did you do the cooking homework after she gave them out? Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. I liked most of them. Yeah. Except for that one involving the sparkling water. I, I really couldn't remember whether the... Whether the sparkling water actually counted as an alcoholic drink or not. It just, yeah, that just really confused me at that time. Um, what was the class that you enjoyed the most? Uh, well, hmm. I'd say it would either be social studies because of all the history lessons we got, yeah. or mathematics or even science. I liked the math with Miss Frederick and the thing about uh, math is because I like to do the ab math addition, subtraction, and sometimes multiplication. And the best part during math classes for my second year, we, we did the money bingo thing and the time one. That was so much fun. Yeah. Okay, this is a really good question you'll like. Did you like Charlie and Millie? Oh yeah, I love those two and any other animal that came in, like yeah. say, or, or Oreo, for example. Yeah, Oreo the guinea pig. Ooh, or even Miss Hoffman's little dogs. Yeah, Libby oh. and Zoe. Oh yeah, those two were adorable. Yeah, they sure were. I liked seeing uh, Millie because because I think I just think she's a sweetheart, and I remember the first year of Phil's Academy, I always liked to go and uh, be with her because she's so sweet. And same goes with Charlie too. And we like and we always like doing enjoying the dog walks, like walking them. Those were great times. Yeah, ditto. Yeah. So okay, when did you graduate? I know I graduated somewhere. Two thousand fifteen. Really? Yeah. I thought it was 16. Yeah, it yeah, it was actually 2015, as I remember. Three years ago. Well, like I said, my memory is pretty bad. So, Sorry about yeah. that. I know I graduated not too long ago. It was one month ago, 2018. Oh, uh, yeah, that's right. I was, I was sort of like the only senior in the class, right? Yeah, yeah, the second year I was here, you were the only senior. Yeah. And the, the first year, uh, Justin, Kiki, and Haley graduated. And the fourth, I don't remember the third year, but fourth year, um, Davis, uh, Jackson, Will Somerville, and Virginia graduated. Um, uh, ben, Lexi, Samantha, uh, Devaney, Savannah, and I, oh, and Lily uh, graduated the fifth year. Do so you remember Lily? Uh, kind of. Yeah, Lily Tippett. Yeah. Okay, um, last question. Do you miss Phillips Academy? Honestly, the way I do miss this. Yeah, mostly because the dogs are there. Well, that, and suffice it to say, I've learned to take pride in being autistic. Yeah, me too. And to be a member of the learning disability community. Back in my old school, when I was maxed out before that, before I even transferred to Phillips Academy, I just, I just, well, best I could describe it, I just haven't been maxed out. I wasn't exactly as sentient as you think I was. Everything to me was just images and nothing more. There was no life, no sentience, not much to look forward to, or to keep my hopes up. Yeah. But then, when I got transferred to Phillips Academy, that all changed. I learned that everything I see around me has more life to it, and that honestly, I just 
started taking a bit more interest in the world. Right. And it wasn't much, but it was still more. Uh, yeah. And of course, for me, um, I kind of miss Phillips Academy too, but not too long ago, I actually, this past Monday, I volunteered for uh, summer school. It was uh, animal care and art. And um, yeah, I, I mean, it was great to see uh, Charlie and Millie again because they're kind of like my thing at Phillips Academy because they're the only dogs that I know. Uh, of course, I do know uh, uh, Henry, who's Miss Turner's dog. He actually came for a little bit. I think it was Tuesday when he came. Officer Wing and Officer Waters, the police officers who would visit our school, they're the ones who, um, uh, they brought in the horses for the first day of summer school. It was the first week. And we had fun grooming the horses. And um, that's pretty much it for the questions. Of course, uh, these were all built together in release because we went to school together. So Gunnar, I wanna say thank you for being on this video. Anytime. Yeah, that's great. Um, if you guys want to uh, see uh, any more of these videos, you can just comment down below on what other questions you want me to ask people. And if you want to know what I'm doing uh, for uh, in the future videos, you can always uh, uh, subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell so you know when I post a new video. Well, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Say bye. See you guys later. And remember, pride in being learned disabled. That's what you need to have. Do not let people disrespect you for that. Hell yeah. Yeah. Remember that, guys. Okay. Peace.